Welcome sports bettors from around the world. What's up everybody? Welcome back sports gambling daily. My name's Jared. That is Philly fan over there and it's uh we're going to talk a little bit about this um Utah Jazz on the road taking on the Miami Heat. But first guys, check out our website sgdwins.com. It's where you can find our premium group and uh and also our premium content. All right, Philly Utah, man, they're actually been playing pretty well lately. We were talking about this off air. They're five. They're, check that. That they're six out of the last seven that uh, they have wins, but they're beating teams that they should, like the Hornets, the Hawks, the Magic, the Warriors, the Timberwolves, the Grizzlies, and they're taking on a, a Miami Heat team that is getting all the money early on. Ninety-seven percent of the cash is on the Miami Heat. Yeah, that certainly scares you a little bit. Um, my early, early lean just when we started talking was Miami. Obviously, you know, hearing that, it, it makes you a little bit kind of like, well, you know, maybe maybe I should look to the other side. But you're right. I mean, Utah's been playing better. I feel like they play better at home than they do on the road. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're a 22nd-ranked offensive team versus a ninth-ranked offensive team, and they're very similar defensively. Um, doesn't look like there's a ton of injuries on either side. Justice Winslow's out. That's about it. But that's kind of been the norm recently. Um, I, I kind of do lean Miami, but I can certainly make a case for Utah. They are playing better. I just guess it depends on what kind of game that you're going to get out of them. I, I think they've been playing without Mike Con but playing better without Mike Conley, frankly. Joe Ingles started in their starting lineup. Seems like it's really sort of you know energized them a little bit. But yeah. uh, I, I don't know, man. The Rudy Gobert could be an interesting matchup. Um, going up against Bam Adebayo, I, you know, I'd like to see how that plays out because I think outside of that, um, you can make a case for either side. I'm actually curious to see what you think because I'm a little on the fence about this game. Yeah, I th actually am leaning to Jazz here. Even though it's the last game of their road trip, they, like you said, they, they play better at home. However, I think we're basing that off of their last road trip where they were just atrocious. Uh, you know, they had a five-game road trip where they only won one out of those five games. And, you know, here – they're playing a lot better, and like you said, they're they're playing a way more inspired with uh, with Joe Ingles in the lineup. I think it, I don't know. It's just it, it feels more like last year's Jazz team as right. opposed to this year's Jazz team. So uh, Michael Conley um, has struggled, quite frankly, uh, to fit in. And you know, I kind of wonder sometimes if this injury is more of a hey, let's just get him out of the lineup because we play a lot better <laughs> when uh, he's not here. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm leaning. Um, I'm leaning the Jazz, and you're you're giving me four and a half, five at Bavada, and I'm telling you this line's going to continue to move if this all the money is just flying in on the Heat, man. It's all it's all, it's overwhelming to be honest with you. There's a yeah, lot of value in really, the Jazz. I, yeah, I can't argue that whatsoever. Um, I can certainly see Utah winning the game. That's why it's such a kind of a coin flip for me. I'm very curious to see if there's any injury, you know, situations or anything, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't even know if I want to give – I guess, my, like I said, I guess I'm going to stay with my early lean. My early lean is Miami, but I can't argue your point. Mm -hmm. you're, you're certainly right. It would not shock me if he's all wears. All right, guys, there you go. San Antonio Spurs versus the Memphis Grizzlies up next. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.